Hello everyone. Today we're going to draw Pete the Cat. We've been reading his stories and he's going to be our focus for our drawing lesson this week. Here's some Pete the Cat. I'm going to show you how to draw him, draw his body, and then you can embellish him any way you want. If you want to put his guitar in, you want him to read a book, you can add his yellow coat with his groovy buttons. So here's how we're going to start. We have Pete and Pete is just some simple shapes. We have an oval for his face. We have two triangles for his ears. We have a big triangle for his body. And then we have two big ovals for his eyeballs. If you see it this way, it's easy, won't stay. It's kind of easy to plan out, all right? So here's how we're going to draw it. You're going to draw in pencil first because then you'll be able to erase lines and create him the way you'd like. I am gonna start with the marker so you can see it on the camera. So you're gonna draw it in pencil first and then you're gonna go over it with your Sharpie. So we're gonna draw him huge. This is a big paper. And what you're gonna do first is draw a T, a lowercase T or a cross on your paper very lightly. I did mine dark so you can see it on camera. You can use a ruler if you'd like, but I just free draw it. And that way we can, this is a um, illustrator's way of balancing out your image on the paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw my oval, his head. Kind of make it round. And I'm gonna do it right at the cross of the T. So that way I know his head's going to be the center focus of the paper. Then I can draw my two triangles for his ears. And then his body comes down. It's kind of like a rounded triangle like this. Okay, you want to do that right along the center of the T. And then at the bottom, you're going to draw his two feet, which are little circles here, like that, little ovals. All right, and then we're gonna bring his arm up and his other arm up, and we're gonna make his belly, bring his arms up. And then his back leg kind of comes out like a hump. There's his hump and there's his third foot and his tail curves. Watch me first. I'm gonna make the one curl like this, and then I'm gonna follow it along like this, okay? Now we can add the detail. Here are his oval eyes. I'm just gonna turn this, and I'm gonna do them right along the T. They kind of, they're very close together. And there's his two ovals. I kind of um, cinched mine on the ends, made them kind of like almond shape. And then in the inside, we're gonna make, watch me first, we're gonna make little U's, U, U. And then we're gonna make a, a tinier U, watch first, inside, okay? And then his nose is just like a little triangle down there. Now what you can do before you trace yours with Sharpie is you can erase these lines here. I can't because it's Sharpie, but you can erase these lines here so that way they don't show. And then you can put in his whiskers. Now his whiskers are kind of light and fluffy. So you wanna kind of do it quickly and they're all different sizes. All right, there's my Pete. Now what you can do I've erased the lines, all right, is you can color them in or you can add some detail before you put your marker on. If you want to change some things up, you can put him in, in a hat, you can put him in a scuba gear, you can make him 
I can show you if you want to make them long. I have the how to draws on the table for you if you'd like to do that instead of making his body come down if you want him out. So that way you could draw him on a skateboard. All right. And you can make his guitar. There's his friend in a coat like his. So you can embellish him any way that you'd like. Look, he's writing a love letter to Mrs. Mraz. <laughs> Silly. Um, so, the, and then you can put in the background, look, if you wanted to put them on a skateboard, you can make the wave in the background. You can make the beach. We're going to use the whole paper here, all right? So I'm going to use these construction paper crayons to color him in because he's a blue cat and these construction paper blue are the perfect color for him. So I'm gonna color mine in. I got the blue cat blues and his magic. Somebody can put his magic sunglasses on too. Remember we read that story last week. His cool blue magic sunglasses. So I'm gonna make him blue and then hit the insides of his eyes are like a bright, like gold. All right. And then finish him up. Oops, wrong glow. Finish him up. I want to get everything in. So then I'm going to draw my background for him. I think I'm going to make him uh, waiting for the bus. So I'm going to make my background. There he is. And I'm going to put the bus in the background. Here it comes. He's waiting for school. Oh, I forgot you can even put his um, sneakers on. If you want to make his sneakers, his cool sneakers, just make them high tops. Okay. His red sneakers. He had white shoes, red shoes. Did he have blue shoes? So there he is. All right. And then you can make your background any way you'd like. Okay. So I'm going to finish mine and you can start decorating yours and I can't wait to see your version of Pete the Cat.